Yeah, okay. 2019 is the year. It's the year that we, as Africans, telling our own story to the world. And we are telling our own story in our own way. I am here at the beautiful Gori Island. Look how beautiful this place is, man. But hey, we are promoting Africa. We are promoting African art, African culture, and also African history. So I've seen something interesting that I would love to share with you guys. So come with me. I am Maya. Salam. Uh, Nagandev. Uh, uh, don't go too far. That's all I know. Eh? <laughs> yeah, my name is Maya. Um, what are you doing, bro? Um, I'm drawing. You drawing? Yep. So it looks like an African map. Uh -huh. Is this an African map? It's an African map. Wow. This is two faces a man and the woman here wow a man and a woman yeah. are you using a sun is it is it sun yeah it's sun yeah it's Not, sun natural sun yeah wow and what are you using the glue from the baba tree it's glue from, from the, the tree from the baba tree but mix with the arabic girl wow i would love to know how you start all these things from the beginning to finish okay would you love to teach us like yeah, then, then you can record it now. Yeah, because the people have to know because I, I'm, I've never seen something like this before. This is my first time seeing somebody drawing with sand, you know, and looking behind me, this really looks beautiful. And I would love to know how you start from the beginning to the end. Wow, wow. See another one too? That's an African map. Wow. This is artist. Wow. Still, it's artist. Wow. This is really beautiful. Man. Okay, then um, welcome to you first of all. Thank you. And here we're working with natural sand from Senegal here in countries around like Mali, <coughs> Mauritania and Gambia. Wow. Then you can take movies and we have here first of all this white one from the beach of Sali. Okay. Sali beach in Mbour about 82 kilometers from Dakar. And this is from the Sahel. We call it the Sahel sand. This is northern part of Senegal with way to Mauritania. <coughs> The Tenere Desert in Mali, Niger. Okay, this one we call it the Red Line. Okay. And this yellow one from Lompul. Lompul Desert, about 182 kilometers from Dakar. Okay. And from this island, okay, the Gora Island Sand. Gora Island? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We got also the Iron Mine in Gelb. Okay, from Mauritania in Zouerat. The Iron Mine. <coughs> This green one from the St. Salom Islands, the mangrove sand. Okay. This is sand part of Senegal, way to Gambia. Okay. Have you heard about the Pink Lake? Yeah, I was there yesterday. Lac Rose, about 45 kilometers from Dakar. Yeah. And this is the beach of Cap Screen. Cap Screen Beach in Casamance area. This is southern part of Senegal. <coughs> what is so special about all this sand that you're using? Why not get sand from Gori Island and just use it for whatever you want? Uh, because it's so different. Um, this is not too um, to, to clean, okay. to use like the pictures like this. Okay. okay. Yeah. Then this black one from the Mamel volcano. Oh. The volcano sand where you have the big monument of Renaissance near yeah. our old Ipoh. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. And it all you still 16 different colors of sand. Uh, 16, Six, yep. 16 or 16? Yep, 16. 16 yep. different colors. And as glue we're using here, the sap from the baobab tree. Wow. The glue of the baobab, but mixed with Arabic gum. Okay, then the Arabic gum comes from the a tree you call acacia tree. And now he's drawing first with that glue. Then after you're gonna put the sand on it to shadow it. Wow. Then you let start away from the darkest colors to the lightest to shadow it. Okay. Then now you can take a movie here this way. And he, he he's almost finished. Then this is the most important part how he put the sand on the glue. Then all the way from the darkest colors to the lightest. To the lightest. Okay. Oh. Opposite to the to the, uh, to the normal painting. And this technique comes from the School of Fine Art of Dakar. Wow. Yeah, okay, and that School of Fine Art was made by our first president, Mr. Lepo Seda Senghor. Okay. Then he made it to promote African art. Okay. So we are here to promote African art. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Okay. Then he finished it always with the lighter one. Wow. Okay. Okay. Now he's like cooking. You're putting the ingredients, mm. salt, <laughs> tomatoes. Yeah. Onion. Exactly. <laughs> and the final result. You ready? Oh, wow. Yeah. 
Very cool. So which okay. is the most important part mm -hmm. is the glue. Exactly. The most important part is how he put the sand wow. on the glue, how he wow. shadow it. Wow. Okay. But he has to draw this one first, exactly. right? Exactly. He has to draw first with the glue and put the sand on it. Mm, then, then he will start right. away from the darkers to the lighter colors. Wow. Okay. Can you guys see this? This is super beautiful, man. You just have to let the world know that things like this do exist in Africa, man. So what yep. you do, you just have to share the video, man. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. Yep. Can I? Okay. But I love then, what he's doing because mm. it looks like an African map. Yeah, it's, it's an African map. Then now yeah. he have to put it under the sun to dry it. To dry it. Like and ten, like this. Okay, 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Then we'll pick it back and finish it finally. Okay. Then oh, all okay. the pictures you see here were made by that same way, like this. Wow, the same way. Okay. So you can show them around. Okay. And one more time, it's dry. This is the final result. The final result. Then here you can you can take the final result. Wow. Then it, it doesn't come off. It doesn't come. Okay. Off. Can I feel it? Yep. Then even it's oh forced down. Oh my goodness. You can even fire your nails with it. See, you cannot see yeah. anything. Then even it's forced down like this, okay? What? It doesn't move out. So just. Uh, no, maybe let me try it because I don't trust it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take this one. You know, like I said, I don't trust it. <laughs> really? Wow. Okay, so just don't put it in water. You don't put it in water? Yeah, yeah. Oh, to good. save it. So how, how much does it cost if someone want to buy some uh, this axe like this? How much does it cost? Yeah. One. Okay, so we're selling them here by size. This small one for five thousand. Uh, okay. Five thousand. Five thousand CFA. CFA. Okay. okay, like like ten dollars. Okay. Tw um, he, the mediums here for ten thousand, like twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Okay, the longos for seven thousand five hundred. Okay. Like fifteen dollars, and the big one for twenty. 20,000 like $40. 40 dollars okay a lion then after uh, they can be dedicated go right in the date of today or wow. uh, put the name customized okay never again yep I, I want you guys to see the never again this is slave trade huh never again it's not supposed to happen again but anyway thank you so much what's your name is You're there any way someone can contact you so that people can come in here whenever they come in here or they want to Purchase one of these, they can contact you to get mm -hmm, it. Yep. Should I use your number or your Instagram? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My my name is Saribu. Saribu. Then you can you can get my number if you want. Okay. Mm. All right. Thank you so much. I hope You're you welcome. guys enjoyed this amazing episode. It's all about Africa to the world, telling our own stories, letting the world know that things like this do mm -hmm. exist on the motherland. It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. Mm -hmm. And I'm out. Peace out.